We had some gigs where there was thousands of people and they loved us and they were dancing like crazy. And other gigs where there might be only two people in this little bar. One show, we had a little foot locker that we kept our equipment in. And for one show, I folded myself up so that I fit inside the trunk. It wasn't a very big trunk. So um, the roadies brought, me, brought the trunk on stage and the band's starting to play and people are looking around like, oh, what the heck, where's Risa? And I pop out of the trunk. And I just did off the wall stuff like that all the time. So I guess I got a reputation for being wild and crazy. in high school when I was a junior <laughs> a junior and Rose was a sophomore mm -hmm. one of my girlfriends had been bugging me to go out with Andre because Andre was friends with her and finally I said okay fine I'll go out with him <laughs> and we had a good time and had a lot in common and our differences kind of made it more fun so we had mm -hmm. a good time together I had walked in late from work one night and it was all kind of like dark and there was a candlelight dinner set up and I came through the door and there was just a little thank you note. I was sitting on a table with a bear and flowers and he had said to me, this is just a dinner to thank you for all that you've done for me. So, um, you know, of course I started crying and being all excited and he asked me to be his wife. My foot was dragging a little bit, and uh, it, I, it went on for a couple years like that, and more and more people would say, are you limping? Why are you limping? Did you hurt your foot? I got into work, and I fell for no reason, and at that point, I could no longer deny something was really wrong. It's affected my right side. I have great difficulty moving my right foot and leg, which is why I'm in the chair. Also, it's a progressive thing for most people. When it started out, I could walk pretty well with a cane. And then, this is now 10, 11 years later, um, I use a walker in the house, and when I go out, I use the chair. It's not life-threatening, generally. It's just a real major annoyance. I got a knock on the door from two police officers. Um, it was a pretty hard knock, so it woke me up, up out of a deep sleep, and our dog was going crazy, and um, when I looked through the peephole in the door, all I saw was these two men in hats, and I was shocked and didn't really know what was happening. So when I opened the door, the police officer said to me, doesn't Andre Gibson live here? And when I said that he did live there and that he hadn't been home all day, he said, well, he's been in a car accident. 
when I went up to see him, you know, of course I was scared, petrified that, you know, what I was going to see, you know. So um, when I had gone up there, Andre had been um, lying in the trauma center and the doctor had told me that, um, you know, that he was, that he was paralyzed and hadn't had any movement at all. Just kind of like a big reality check, I guess, when I first found out like the severity of the accident. It affected mainly my, well, obviously my lower body, um, and my hands. Um, I lost like function in pretty much my hands and in my arms. At first, I really couldn't move my arms much. I can't be spontaneous anymore because I used to go out, you know, at the drop of a hat, but I, I don't go out now until I know I, I'm prepared. It's kind of like being a senior citizen. Oh, I felt bad, but she looked at it uh, in a different way, as if she was getting old. So, older, faster. All right, Joyce, so how does it feel? How does it feel? things that we take for granted, you know, that we just do. We get up on our two feet and we put on our shoes and we put on our socks and, you know, something that takes us three seconds was taking him an hour. You definitely learn a lot about patients. Um, I guess more so Rose has to be more patient with me and I have to be more patient with myself because there are things I know that I can't do. and. It does get frustrating sometimes where like you might want to do something and you can't just get up and do it right away or you might need someone's help. I used to play guitar like crazy and um, I pretty much gave up on the guitar because this hand has to keep the rhythm. It's got to strum, it's got to pick the notes and the precision was gone. So I was still playing keyboard and after a while I noticed that my right hand, which is the main, my main side, was not reliable. So I was like, okay, well maybe I'll just play with my left hand. Right now, it's doing pretty good. One of my fears, I guess, at first was like just being back in public again and seeing how like people, people do definitely treat you differently, you know, when you're in a wheelchair. I remember when he was going to be released, I was so excited for him to come home and it was really hard for me because he wasn't so excited yet to come home because he was scared of what was out yeah, there. Because when you're in the hospital, everyone is in the same situation as you. So you're in your, you know, everyone's in their comfort zone. But once I get home, like when I go places, I'm the only person I see in a wheelchair. I might see like one other person. I didn't know how it was gonna affect like my relationship with Rose. Something traumatic happens. It, it definitely, it's either gonna um, bring someone, depending on how your relationship is, it's either gonna make your relationship stronger or Tear you apart. Tear you apart. And that's with anyone. It's with, like, friends. It's with family. So it really, um, any traumatic um, experience is really going to test the human spirit. Well, Rose and Andre came uh, as a 
as a wedding couple. They came to me to be a wedding couple. And uh, they were wanting to do their first dance, just like anybody else. And they picked a great song, and they did a rumba. And of course, they're, the two of them are just like gorgeous. They said, we should just try this. This, this looks like so much fun, and um, we have to do it for the wedding. Everybody wants us to dance. What are we going to do? Just listen to, the, listen to our song, you know? And, um, then Andre eventually, as it got closer to the wedding, he was like, okay, we'll do it. Well, at first I didn't um, think much of it, because like, I didn't really dance much before anyway. <laughs> so I just figured that like, you know, it was just something we weren't going to do. The class is great. It, it's, um, it's a good way for us to get out and meet other people. It's amazing, you know, the kind of people that we've met in the last year and a half, two years of Andre's injury that, you know, we would have probably never met before. You know, it's empowering. It, it's, it shows that I have the ability to do this and I can be creative and, you know, it doesn't matter what part of my body moves or, you know, how the wheelchair moves, but I'm being creative. It's fun. It's just fun. You know, it, it gives me a chance to get out and feel like I'm dancing again, which is something I had missed. I guess you don't really, it's hard to really appreciate until you actually see it. And it's really hard to explain to someone how you're dancing in a wheelchair, because most people just think that Rose is kind of just like dancing around me and I'm just sitting in a chair. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a lot more, you know, um, physically, more physical demanding than that. The first couple of years after the accident is the most important time. So if you sit around and do nothing in those first couple of years, you're probably not going to get much function back. But if you're working hard and you set goals for yourself, then you know positive things will happen. All right. But first, I'm going to get you down here. I think this might not be good because pull, it's baby. Pull. pull, pull, pull. You can do it. Downhill. Okay. I'm really glad that he's there and he knows how to do it. And it's Thank like a trade-off um, because I'm. I'm not uh, so independent sure. physically, but I'm still independent men mentally. Okay. Well, we get along like cats and dogs, and we love each other, and Dan is very supportive of me, and I'm supportive of him. She's gonna go that way. No, I'm going down the Three drive. You Three know dimension. what, Danny? Just stop it. Okay? Yeah, you should go straight ahead. These Just are Caesar. act normal, even if it's an act. <laughs> Try it. Okay. All right. Well, we sent Anna just a stitch. I mean, they just, <laughs> they're just wonderful, wonderful people. They've been very, um, uh, they've been constant. Uh, they're they're very dedicated to the group. It's more to them than just dancing, I think. Melinda said, "Make sure you connect with your partner," which means you look at your partner. I found that when I looked at my partner and listened to the music, I was just it was just a natural. When we started ballroom dancing, like it really just gave us that, you know, connection again. You know that, you know that we loved each other and we could do, you know, something together to really bond. Please 
welcome my mommy and her group of rowdy rockers, Risa and the Rooters. Now, it, it has helped a lot because since I came back with Risa and the Rooters, it definitely helped me uh, build up my strength and my confidence uh, in my, and in, in the strength helps me perform better musically uh, because before I might play a few songs and then I would be tired. Well, now I have a lot more energy. I think that makes for a much better performance and a better connection with the audience. It's more focused. Like, it's allowing me to focus my creativity into a pattern of movement that incorporates my body with the chair. She does everything wireless now because so that she can move around. She fancies up her uh, chair, you know, puts that dresses the back of the chair, and she used to plays the keyboard now. I found after a while that you can fight it better if you don't fight it, if you relax and build yourself up, build your strength up, so that you can deal with whatever crisis might happen. I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst, so I'm, I've become happy you know, with with what I am. How about another big round of applause for Rose and Andre? Pretty amazing because like most people have never seen anything like that before um, it's kind of sad like after you look around like everybody's like crying When you're through something like this, you just realize that, you know, if you're if you can get through this, you can get through anything together. And I think that it just made it a stronger bond. 